Hello everyone. Today I'm going to go over how to make a tender bundle out of Gorilla Tape. The tools we're going to use today is going to be our ferro rod and we're going to use in this case a Leatherman Wave. Now everybody knows that good old Gorilla Tape or Duct Tape, I prefer Gorilla because it's just it's actually a better brand if you start looking at it and seeing the things that it does. but. You know, everybody knows all the little secrets about duct tape in the field. You can fix your gear, cut, fix your wounds with it, uh, stop uh, rub spots on your feet from your boots. Um, you make containers out of it, uh, you transport water with. I have done that. It does work. It takes a lot of tape, but it does work. So I'll always be carrying this with me from either rolling some off on a nail so I can have an awl with it and having this in just my haversack, so walking around. Or if I carry a whole roll, which I do carry a complete full roll in my actual bag to go out in the woods and spend any, anywhere more than a day, there's always a roll of duct tape in there. But today, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a tender bundle out of this and get it lit up and fired and have a good time. And you only need about a foot or so of it. Alright, and that's what I'm going to use. Then I'm going to add a little something to this one. I'm going to put a base down, three or four inches here, just because of the wind. Fold this end up. Right. So this way, I can leave it down here at this edge, and I can put any of my fine pulls on it. And it won't have a tendency to fly everywhere, because we know how that works. Alright, so what we're going to use here is two tools we're going to use off of this mostly is going to be our saw and our pliers. Let's start with the pliers. You want to grab just as little bits of the edge as you can and pull on it. You want to try to get fibers break loose and pull off very fine strings. See that? As fine strings as you can get of that, of that duct tape, I mean Gorilla Tape. And that's what I like about Gorilla Tape. It's got these, you can see how the weave is in it. It's like a ply over it, so if I grab some of it and pull it off, you can see it's got these little bitty tiny fibers, and that's what you want. So, grab and make real small pulls with it. It's hard to get the edges. No, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but it is something in an emergency situation. If this is all you've got, what you can do, it is possible, and that's what you want. The more you can get on your side, the better it is. See that? And that's what you want, just those little fibers. See that? And that's what's so good about your about using a multiplier is that you can lay all that grab force on the edge and try to get as little bit as that as you can to get it started because it does take a little bit to get them threads started. See that? But you can pull off real small thin sections. And that's what you want. You want a lot of fiber, as much as this hair as you can get. Now 
If it's a little too thick, you just grab the other end of it. Oh, there's and grab it. I know this is just for in case you get lost out there and you don't. But it's all in the thought of making it. Think outside the box. And it's all in the So everything else is soaking wet, say, you can't get anything drunk anything. Can it be done? Yes, it can. It's a perfect one. But nobody said it could be. And now if you carry the surefire, see that thread? You carry surefire, or, you know, there's a mini inferno with you. You don't worry about it. Just throw it in and be done with it. Matter of fact, I'll just strip this down. I'll just strip it 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 down. And I'll leave that. And that's what you want. You just want little strings. Stand, See that? That's what you want. Much better you can get out of there, better it is. It doesn't matter you do. Look at this. Within, you start to catch it. And let's try it. Good night. Over there. Within. Now we're going to catch it. It's hard for my fair rail. So there's strings hanging off that. That's what you want to see. Those are the things that catch up and get there. Now, understand you already got as much knowledge as you can. You're kind of lit up, so you know this is just going to be like a bird's nest. So get it. Yeah, it's like a bowl. Press it. Fire safe. Fire. Now, there's a couple of things you can do. That piece of light down the bottom. That's the thing you can do. Take a ferro rod. Straight on the end. So you know what to get for you. Uh, straight on the end. It's just covered. Yeah. The ferro rod. That's all. What that's going to do is uh, stay on the bed. Yeah. Catch it and start to throw your ferro rod straight onto it. I'm going to show you that this is a long tedious job, but it can be done. It's completely possible. I'm just going to put it up there. I'm not going to try this with the real brand tape. I've never done it with the real tape paper. I've never done it with the other tapes out there on markets. I'm not saying they will do it, I'm not saying they won't do it. I just know that this is the only tape I've used to do this task, and it works great for me. I'm going to take itself. It's just been something I've used since I came across it at school. I had to have it for you. It's one tape I purchased. I don't have any real tape on my house. I always have to use it. So, we're almost there. Thank you for staying with me. Making this a trick. Worth it. Try to see if I can make this into a tender. If I can go on to it again. Some of you might be watching things I don't know. Maybe I won't. We'll see. That's all. That's what we're here for. We're right now. I've done this before. And hopefully we'll do it again. And we will uh, try to make a fire. Now, I'm not going to burn anything. I'm just going to let it burn. Hopefully this is uh, something real steady out there. I'm not going to try it in the backyard. Take the top. And whatever. Just to uh, go out and see how it runs. I'm going to tell you what's surprising is that the multi-tools, especially the saws in the, in the Levins, they throw some, some real good throw around. Spark. It'll really eat it off there. I'll show you that in a second. It definitely is a surprising to me when I, when I did the first one with them. And it seems like it's usually the saws that are the best for doing it. It happens to be the other way to come out of punch them. Make a punch press them. It's a good spine. You can see I'm trying to make all of them little fibers on the inside of it. So that it builds up. Remember, if you don't feel the water stuff, don't throw it away. Put it in there. Well, if you get it going, I'm sure you will. If you get it going, it'll uh, definitely kill it. Now, I've tried this, but I just lay it down the tape. You know, the strips, it doesn't work. You really are throwing a fire to it when you try it that way. Um, it's more of, you're just getting the tape's hot than the ice burn versus actually catching fire to the burn. But you can warm it up and try, see how you like it, see what's easiest for you. I'll get the process out of the situation, I'll have to be making a duct tape to the burner. Maybe not. Hope you don't. You don't have to be able to make it up skill. So I'll tell you one thing. That is, uh, if you don't have a skill, don't think outside the box, and you'll find something in that situation, you'll think you need it. That's what this is about. Okay? And we're almost there, let's watch a little bit. And we're going to throw some spark down on it. And See what happens to it. So for everybody who stayed, I appreciate it. I know it's probably took a little while. I might look at the at the camera, but we got a lot of thin down there in the center, little strips. So um, now we're going to uh, strike it out and see see how she does. Here we go. There's your tender bundle.
Now watch out, this is sticky, of course. So I would have already had my stuff on top of her. And she would have been fine. Do you see that? She's a cooking. Had some of these dry leaves around here, which I could probably started to dry leaves with it, but there you go. And remember, that's molten. So it is a petroleum-based product, so it is sticky. There you go, what do you think of that? Did it. Then I'll tell you that would uh go off sparks like you wouldn't believe. So clean it up a little bit, and I know some of you purists wouldn't wouldn't like the fact that it's all filthy and nasty like that, but it's a tool. And there we go. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was uh, taught you a little something. Remember, knowledge doesn't weigh anything. The more you know, the less you take. Take care of yourselves.